Yay! It's working again! Thank God! Oh, that was annoying. But, thankfully, it's working correctly. And I do apologize for the choppiness of the gameplay. It's hypercam, what can you do? Uh, I really would like some suggestions on free things that'll work. And perhaps a tutorial on how to work it. Mainly because, well, to be quite honest, the, the whole hypercam thing is kind of stupid. And, I, and I'm not, and I'm kind of uh, video stupid when it comes to recording videos and stuff. So, yeah, that's part of my problem, really. So, yeah. I kind of wish I could record at a higher frame per second rate, but if I go any higher, desync happens like crazy. And to those who don't know what desync is, it's basically when my voice, uh, or the audio in general, uh, gets out of sync with the, the video. Like, either it's too slow or the video is too fast or whatever. Not one video I did. Jesus Christ, it was it was fast. You guys don't even know. I might upload it just so you guys can see how ridiculously fast it is. Not probably not, but it w it was interesting to say the least. When I when I clicked it, I'm like, wow, really? Holy shit! How did that happen? I guess something happened. Maybe I actually like typed something in somewhere, and it really buggered up the recording. Yeah, what can you do? As I've said. Now these are slightly worse versions of uh little rats, but they're nothing to sneeze at. Um I in the uh, underground tunnel there you you will encounter a new type of enemy called the tainted. They're basically uh these big demon things that shoot lightning out of their mouths. Kind of annoying in groups. You'll see them in the later parts of the this act, in some of the later acts in general. But yeah, that's that. And this is the dark wood, quite obviously. This is where you do the get the scroll of Inifus for the uh, game quest, as I showed you in the previous video. But yeah, I think for this video I'm going to try to do at least a little more than 50 minutes. Maybe like 20 some minutes. Yeah, because apparently now I can upload 50, 20 minute videos to uh, YouTube for some reason. Don't quite understand it, because it wasn't working before, and I just leveled up. Yay for me. I'll do it after I kill all these guys. But, uh, but yeah, that's that. But God damn, that was frustrating. And I'll stop bitching about it now. We're not here to listen to me bitch. We're here, we're here to play a game, or watch me play a game anyway and ramble on about it. Oh, look, arrows and bolts. How useful for me. Now, if I was an Amazon, that would be a godsend, but for this character, it's quite useless. Alright, let's see. I know, some of you are like, you noob, you noob, you noob. I'm like, uh... Why do I have so many points in this stuff? Oh, it's because of the skill shrine. Duh. I'm retarded. And I apologize if that offends you if I say retarded in that context, mainly because it's kind of how I, it's just kind of one of those things I kind of had a held back, uh, uh, a throwback from high school that never got really rid of. So I'm sorry if I offend you. I don't mean to. Then again, I cuss like a sailor, so what the hell. I don't know. Alright. Uh, bear with me a moment. I'm going to change my volume, generally so I can hear myself speak, because I feel like I can't articulate well if I can't hear myself talk. And this is a well. I kind of explained it in that one video, but that I didn't post, I'm not going to post. But basically what these are is, you, um, they're more common underground in dungeons, but occasionally you'll get them up top too. Basically what they do is they completely heal your, your health, your mana, and your stamina all at once. And you can click on it twice. So basically it's better than a refill shrine. But, and it will regenerate over time. So you could walk around a bit and it will be cool again. So it's kind of nifty if you need a quick recharge of health and stuff. Not very common, but they pop up for once in a while. 
Ross Nova, as you can probably guess, is actually quite useful in my opinion. Largely because it, it has that nice little area of effect thing going for it. So it, I can slow down a bunch of enemies at once and just spam Ice Blast or whatever I have equipped. So, is this the, the Black Marsh? No, this is the Black Marsh. Now, do we have that quest? No, we do not. But... I will get it if I go there. But the next quest is the Forgotten Tower, which I think which I think is the only um, optional quest. But basically what it is, is you go into this tower and it's really long. It's like one of the longest dungeons in this part of the game. But uh, you basically go down there and you fight a bunch of levels and you uh, get money. And I'll do it, just, just for the completionist in me. Although I'm not much of a completionist. I also talked about these guys called Bloodhawks, which appear in the uh, Dark Wood. Uh, first in the Dark Wood. Bloodhawks, I think they're called. And they're not that tough. They're like one-hit wonders, pretty much. But they have these things called Bloodhawk Nests, which constantly respawn them if you don't kill them. But they're a little bit easier, in my opinion, than the, uh, than the Fallen and the Shamans, mainly because while those do infinitely respawn, uh, you, they don't, the, the nests don't attack. So, yeah, they're kind of pathetic, actually. And that problem with Frost Nova is it doesn't do a lot of damage. But ice, ice spells tend not to do as much damage as uh, fire or lightning, anyway. So, eh. that freeze that. There we go. Oh, she has ice arrows. Not really needed, but eh, whatever. I need mana. I like to mock my characters when they say repetitive things. Really, that one. I'm not getting really any good drops this this uh, playthrough. Normally, I'd have a lot more uh, unique items, rare items in this. Although I have gotten quite a few, so maybe I should stop bitching. That's the next area we don't do that. We want the waypoint for this area. And I'm leaving a lot of dead air. I apologize. I really have nothing to talk about. This act, as I said, is perhaps kind of boring for the sake of this Let's Play, mainly because there's not a lot going on at the moment. Ooh, that'll be useful. Now, that's a Mana Recharge Shrine. It quite obviously increases the uh, rate at which your Mana Recharges. And this is the next quest area. So we'll go there in a sec. Oops. God damn it, I wish I would stop doing that. I do that a lot, I notice. I feel kind of bad about it. It's kind of noobish of me to do. But, as I said, I'm new to this, so I apologize. Maybe I'll get better at it over time. I don't know. I need to figure out... I need to find... I really need a new screen capture program, though. This one really blows. Mainly because you can only uh, capture footage if, if it's from a game that's in windowed mode. You can't do it full screen, otherwise the graphics stutter like they did in the, my first video of this. So yeah. For the love of God, stop killing everything. Well, then why do I have a mercenary? One could argue. But yeah. But the funny thing about the the Forgotten Tower quest is it's mostly about the Countess, and they kind of make a reference to a real life. Uh, historical figure, and by because the, there's what she does, what the countess does, I guess, is she like bathes in the rejuvenating blood of a thousand virgins, or some such nonsense, and it's it's kind of funny. Also, a funny thing to note uh, to mention about this game is the the narrator, the guy who plays like the 
the narrator for, for some of the quests or inconsequential things in this game. Same guy played um, Ben's grandpa and Ben 10, of all things. So here's the Forgotten Tower. Um, I'm going to take a, a little break and I'll be right back, guys. I'm back. I just had to get a drink. Because I am parched. Because I'm doing this in my uh, movie room that you sometimes, if, if you watch any of my, um, if you watch any of my vlog videos, which most of you probably don't, uh, it's that room with the white background and the weird white, red and blue walls. And basically, uh, it's really hot out here because there's no AC, and sometimes I need to get, um, uh, sorry, I'm at a loss of words here. It sometimes gets really hot, and I need, and I just need, not really hot, just kind of hot. And sometimes I just need to, uh, get a drink or something. I do a, I drink a lot of shit, to be honest. Boy, I'm talking about nothing. I'm like the king of that. Talking about god nothing. Okay, these guys here are ghosts. Now, they can be kind of a problem for a sorceress, but... If you let them get too close, mainly what their big thing is is uh, they drain mana every time they hit you. So, so if you let them hit you, they can be kind of a problem. But if you keep your distance, eh, they're not. But yeah, this game can is really easy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm normal anyway. And the higher difficulties is a little bit different. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty simple. It's a fun game, though. I might pick a slightly ch more challenging game uh, for my next Let's Play, if I do one. But, yeah. Oh, you and your running out of mana crap. Oh. Yeah, you'll sometimes see these weird flaming patterns in the floor at certain levels. I don't know why, they just do. They just appear out of nowhere. Randomly. Oh, the way down. I'm not going to bother exploring these entire dungeons, just because I don't take too much time doing it. Okay, hmm. mana. You never do without too much mana. Oh, these are the Blood Clan. These were the ones I was talking about a couple of videos ago, the really fast ones. Really fast Goatmen. Really annoying. Really, really annoying. Minor mana, minor mana. Minor healing. I don't know why I picked up that. A healing potion. Don't really need healing potions unless I have... I usually only keep enough potions in my belt that I need. And if I run out, I go to town. Right now, that's kind of an issue, but later on in the game, it's not quite, because the better belts you get, the more slots you have. So it's not quite as a, an issue. Now, these guys aren't that tough. This done, this, yeah, yeah, this act is pretty easy, up until the later parts of it, and then it's kind of hard. But for now, it's pretty simple. Spam and ten, spam and blam, I guess you could say. Spam and blam, really? I, you gotta feel bad for these rogues, seriously. I mean, look at look at that for another state. Not a pleasant way to die. And again, I, I wouldn't imagine that that demons would be very merciful. I would be these goatmen, these blood clan goatmen, being a lot harder than they are. Maybe I'm thinking of another clan of goatmen. They're harder. Okay, I, I do believe this is the final bit. Yeah, this is the final bit of this quest. I really need to use my hot, my potion hotkeys more. And this is why you do this quest. If you can't obviously tell, look at all this shit. 
Seriously, look at all this money. To be honest, it's kind of not worth it, mainly because, as I said, gold is kind of worthless. Although, I guess you could use it for gambling and such. I guess gold isn't entirely useless, it's just not as useful as it probably should be. You know? But whatever. And there's a weapon rack, which probably has nothing. Eh, Spears, give a car, not, not worth my time. Mmm. That is some good root beer. Oh, I love root beer. Mmm. These are Devilkin, by the way. They're slightly better versions of Fallen. Better than Carver's, anyway. Not much better, mind you, but... Ooh! That, my dear friends, is a unique weapon. You may be asking, what is a unique weapon? Well, it is a unique weapon. They're basically, uh... They're, gold, they're also called gold weapons, but basically they're just really rare, 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 rare weapons. And usually the best in the game, and usually more often than not, it is. Ooh, this is a nice one. Ooh, ooh, that is really se that is a sexy, sexy sword. I want to hold on to that. I'm not going to use it for this uh, playthrough, but I will probably give it. I'll hold, put it in my stash uh, for another character if I ever choose to play this game again, which I will. Obviously, it's Diablo. I wouldn't die. But, uh, yeah. Ah, look at that. Those demons are pretty sick, motherfuckers. Although, to be fair, they are demons. You know, I would kind of expect blood sacrifice and the like. Diablo has never been a very happy game. It's always been kind of dark. Bloody, gory, and all that jazz. I just love the atmosphere of this game. Look at this. Candles, the blood altars, and all that. Okay. This is a boss. Uh, I will be right back. Okay. I'm back. Now, this boss can be kind of tricky. Because she puts up firewalls. And kind of traps you in the room. Although, you can run through the firewall if you have to. Oh, she's over there for some reason. That's odd. Never had that happen. Die! Oh, no way. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I was going to say, that was awful easy. Um. So. Uh. Wow. Wow. Really? I didn't even get to... That was lame. That was really lame. That was ridiculously lame. No, seriously, that was just downright stupid lame. What the fuck, man? I'm thoroughly disappointed in that boss fight. Mainly because I remember her being a lot. Did her AI just derp? Is that what that was? Yeah, I must have derped. Wow. That was rather underwhelming. Oh well. I win, I guess. That, that wasn't very exciting. That was rather anticlimactic, I, I must admit. Because usually she puts up, like, these firewalls at these entrances here, and she does a lot more damage than that, usually. In this patch, did they, like, nerf a lot of the bosses or something? Oh well. Anyway, that's it for this video, I guess. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll do another video here in a little bit. So, see ya. Bye.